Yo, it's your boy, Synesthetic. Today I'm going to be showing you 10 must-have free plugins that fuck. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to leave all of the um, links down in the description if you see anything you just must have. Uh, Alright, let's hop right in. Alright, so we're going to start with soft tube um, saturator knob. It does pretty much exactly what it says it does, but let's hear it. Um, so I put some bullshit little uh, arrangement together to show you the stuff. So yeah, you can hear that it's just warmthening that sound up, making it a lot stronger. If you turn it up too high though, it really distorts the sound, so you gotta be careful. Okay, now I got some basses over here. So let's try throwing a saturator knob on there. Alright. Too much. So yeah, it's great for basses, good for any sound you need to fatten up really, leads, whatever. Um, obviously this sound right here would need less. Uh, I just had them grouped. Let's see, maybe if I turn it down. There you go. Okay. Um, so now let's move on because that one's real simple. Alright, so now we're moving on to everyone's favorite. OTT. I'm sure you're all familiar with this plugin. Um, I like the Ableton version better personally. For some reason, I think it sounds better, even though Steve Duda claims they're exactly the same. Um, and I like it because it's not, you know, it's less bulky because it's not a third party VST. Anyway, this is great for, especially for people with different DAWs. Um, OTT stands for over the top compression. So. Let's listen with it off. Let's listen with it on. Now that makes it quieter in some cases, so we're just going to turn up the output gain. Ooh, 11, that's a lot. And you see it makes the sound a lot fuller in the frequency range. That's because it's multiband dynamics, or multiband compressor. So you have the highs, mids, and lows. Um, all being compressed downward and upward aggressively, and you can move around how much upward and downward compression is on the side. So that almost works as an EQ. And then, of course, the time changes the attack and decay of everything. Um, input and output gain. The depth is the dry wet. Um, this affects the how much upward and downward compression is being applied and yeah it just makes all sounds super fat um, sometimes it's a huge difference sometimes it's a subtle difference it really depends on the sound this one already has the multi-band compressor inside of um, serum working extremely aggressively in this case so yeah, um, let's move on. All right, for our next plugin, we got Wider, developed by Infected Mushroom and Polyverse. It is a spatial widening plugin. It um, increases stereo width by using all pass filters and comb filters, which is why it's said not to cause phasing issues on their website. But I've heard a lot of musicians say the opposite, that it does cause a lot of phasing issues. So I'm not sure which is which. I've had to be a little fucky sometimes, but usually don't run into issues. Um, 
I use it all the time in my work, so let's go ahead and sample it. Um, let's throw a wider on this melodic part. Um, okay, let's have the drum beat play two. Yeah, so this is wider at zero. Alright, now let's try it out on these bass parts. Oops, I already had, had it from my last take. Okay. So I put them all the way up. Almost now I'm going to reflect that down. And, then down. and bonus tip. Let's take a utility, slap it on the end, and then put bass and mono. So you get all that fat, but you don't have any phasing issues with the bass. All right, moving on. All right, it's time to um, go for another favorite of a lot of people, Valhalla's Supermassive. That Valhalla actually has multiple free delay and reverb plugins. They are like the masters of time-based effects. I use Valhalla Room for almost all my reverbs. Um, so this is not just a reverb or a delay, it is both. Here you have the length of the delay or decay, um, and then the warp all the way to 100 is re pretty much a reverb, and all the way down is a delay. And of course, a uh, reverb is just a bunch of delays that get quieter and quieter, so it makes sense how they did this. Uh, let's listen to it. All right, so yeah, you can see that adds just a great amount of depth to mainly like melodic sounds is what that's good for, like those piano chords. Um, all right, moving on. All right, now for another time-based effect, we got uh, Tiled Up. There's three of them. I like two the best. The first one has a little bit too much like uh, harsh frequency in the feedback. The third one is just too sterile. So this is kind of like the Goldilocks tail dub, I guess you could say. Uh, let's try it without. And now with. I also really like this plugin for vocal one shots. Uh, it makes just like a really cool dubby sound. All right, moving on. It's getting chilly here in Northern California, so I had to put a sweater on. Don't be alarmed. Uh, all right, so I got a massive init preset and I threw M comb on it. That's what we're covering next. Um, let's listen to it without. So yeah, mcomb is a comb filter, if you don't know how comb filters work. Um, I'm not an expert, but essentially they take all these notches in a harmonic sequence and um, those notches go out of phase with 
each other and so it creates all kinds of resonances um it can either make a sound sound hollow from like the way it puts them out of phase or it can make them sound really metallic and resonant um so it's really cool for making certain kinds of um metallic sounds especially metallic basses and dubstep uh and like if you automate it you can make some really cool effects in trap music um yeah let's actually try it on a bass now so we'll take this bass and here let's loop it there's actually four different filters you can activate so you can make shit sound real cray okay and then of course you have like feedback frequency um, panorama all sorts of sorts of good stuff okay and then um also these have randomized buttons which are cool for if you watch my video on making colorful glitch sounds quick and easy um i show a trick where you essentially resample a sound while hitting the randomize really fast <laughs> So that didn't sound too great, but if you do it a lot, uh, you can really pick out some golden ones. But anyway, um, yeah, this is MComb. It's one of the only comb filter plugins, actually, um, at least that I can think of. Drop them in the comments if you know more, because I want them. Uh, so moving on. All right, so here we have M Auto Pitch. Essentially, you just um, pick your scale type and then what key it's or yeah what key and it auto tunes and you got your speed lower speeds more natural higher speeds more robotic for that like t pain effect <laughs> it sounds a little different than auto tune but i kind of like that and sometimes use this over auto tune for like artistic effect and also it's free so that's really cool um and the width knob for some reason makes sounds sound crazy so yeah i highly recommend this but i'm not going to really show you how to use it today uh you can look more into that elsewhere all right so next we have vital this is a really cool synth it's got four oscillators um one noise and three regular old oscillators um a bunch of envelopes a bunch of lfos that you can like custom shape uh and the one thing i don't like is that you can't have it do triplets and uh, just regular tempo, but it's pretty cool. Um, there's lots of settings here for delay, smooth, stereo, whatever, uh, macro knobs. You got tons of wavetables. I imported the ones from Massive and Serum actually too, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, these can all do wavetables. They have all sorts of interesting um, like spectral warp and other warp modes. Uh, it's actually way better than Serum for FMing. I mean, I like to use FM8 for my FM needs, but this is a close second. I use this sometimes too. Um, and then it's got, you know, tons of great internal effects. I actually like the time based effects in here better than in Serum. Like, I really don't like the Serum reverb. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, now here's a new one from. Um, cymatics origins it makes sounds 
sound vintage. It has saturation. It has flutter. Um, it has this filter that I'm not exactly sure what it's doing. You'll have to read more about it. Um, it's got white noise from like reel to reel cassettes, um, vinyl, and chorus. So let's play around with it on um, on this piano. <laughs> As you can see, it just makes the sound sound vintage. All right, and for our tenth and final plugin, let's go for Spitfire Labs. I just replaced that piano and turned all the effects off. So I have soft piano selected, but there's a ton of banks. I really only have a few downloaded. I like the choir. Uh, let's try that actually. Uh, we should turn the armpit off. Sounds like fucking Halo 3 in here. Alright. <laughs> now let's turn the art back on with uh, the soft piano. Let's turn the uh, velocity back up. Um, let's see what else I have downloaded. So yeah, there's a lot of beautiful sounds. A lot of them are really good for like ambient stuff and kind of cinematic stuff. So yeah, that's been all 10. All right, thanks for watching. Make sure you smash that subscribe button uh, so that you don't miss any more of these episodes. There's going to be a new one next week. Um, I've been pretty much weekly with them so far. And... Yeah, all the links to everything I talked about today is down below. There's also free um, Ableton racks on my website that you can download. There's also links to that down below. So, rock on, dudes. Catch you later.